Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm back in the basement where I did the Cosplay 600 one and a half video on the extrusions. I wanted to do a little vlog type quick cut update on what I'm doing on the Cosplay 600. So I'm going to start here in the basement. I have taken apart the build plate because I need to countersink some of these screws that are going to be going up into the heat beds. And I still need to countersink the, uh, the screws for the top of the heat bed. So that's what I'm going to do here. Watch along, and then we'll go upstairs to where I have the Cosplay 600, and I'll go over some of the changes that I've decided to make so that you guys can keep up with what I'm working on. So if you're wondering, this is just a uh, inexpensive countersink bit. I ordered this from one of the Chinese websites. <sighs> Build plate's done. Switch over to the hot beds. And when working with these hotbeds, make sure that you're careful with the backs of these. These are uh, printed circuit boards and you can scratch them and you can damage them and you can create a short and you don't want to do that. All right, one down, three to go. I've already scratched one of these up just a little bit. I think you can see it here. But from my, uh, it's just paint. So I'll probably get some, uh, some fingernail polish or something and cover that up. If you're wondering what I'm looking for, it's that. See how that flattens out nicely. Technically, I can go and tune any of these later if they're not laying flat, because once they're almost there, it just takes a, a twist or two to get them the rest of the way. Hey, we're there. So let's head upstairs. Oh, one more thing before we head upstairs. I have one more thing to do. There's a short term change of plans for this printer. And instead of the ball screw in the short term, I'm gonna be going with dual Y uh, belts. I planned for this just in case. And so I've got a couple of these metal uh, belt holders and I actually need to drill out these holes that I planned for. For some reason, they didn't turn out the right size. I don't know if it was my CAD. I don't know if it was the cutter but I just need to drill these out a little bit. They're a little too small. Um, and again, this is temporary. I'm actually going to be going back to the ball screws. I'll talk about it when I get upstairs. Let me, let me drill this out. Oh, <laughs> safety first or, or second if you forget. All right, here we are, Cosplay 600. I have been reprinting some things and some new filament that I've got from Coax LLC. Uh, they've been gracious enough to sponsor me and so they've sent some filament over. I love this green color. Uh, if you're interested in their materials, I'm gonna have a code for you down in the description. It's 15% off, I think it's $49 or more, and economy shipping. So anyway, what are we doing here? Uh, when I reassemble these, I have these wonderful red paper washers. I was going to go with rubber, but decided I didn't want anything squishy. I just wanted something to buffer noise. So these will go on here for reassembly. Again, that's just for noise dampening. If you'll notice, I have a lot of wires going on here. Got the hot end connected, BL touch. Here are the new motor mounts I've designed. Here's the latest one. Very, very rigid. You can see, there's no give here. In fact, I've even got a secondary mount. The screw here, there's a piece that'll mount on the back to keep it from bending. Uh, I don't want these to, to flex at all. And I've got two of them. This one hasn't been reprinted yet. This is Mach 1, this is Mach 2. And what else? Oh yeah, 
Here is the MKS Gen V 1.4 all wired up. Got a couple of different stepper drivers depending on the axis. This is the TMC 2130, TMC 2208, and these are just the standard uh, A whatevers that uh, run strong but are noisy if they move too much. Uh, if you'll notice, I've got a splitter for these back here. I've got another splitter for the Z's and I think that's about it. So here we are. I'm going to keep working on this. I will keep blogging uh, until I get it done or until I do another live stream. Oh, the ball screw thing. Forgot to talk about that. So I was going to go with the ball screws. Uh, I was using a 1605 ball screw. Found out it's just not going to spin fast enough. I've got these uh, really high-end um, fast uh, steppers and they're just still not going fast enough. I've got it up to running about 60 millimeters per second but I'm worried about jerk, I'm worried about acceleration uh, changing any of those settings and I really don't want a printer that only goes 60 millimeters per second even when it's traveling. So for this one I am going to do uh, a 1610 but that's going to take probably a month to get here from China because I couldn't find anywhere domestically uh, to get that for a good price. So when that gets here I'll switch back, I'll do some more testing uh, but I think for now the dual belts will get me going. Hey, I need to get printed, uh, need to get going printing Iron Man. And so, we've got to get this built. Again, thanks for joining me. This is Crazy Fabrications.